Every year, Dyson invests millions of pounds inventing and developing groundbreaking technology. For us, it was all about having a really high velocity stream of air going out through the nozzle. So everything about the product was designed around that system. So the shape of the, the, the nozzle arose from sort of the shape of your hands. They're not completely flat, so we wanted to mimic that shape without being too close because we thought that was too intrusive. The air's going so fast, it has a scraping action. It pulls all of the water from your skin into the machine. Once we had that technology optimised and understood, then we could refine the actual product design and look more into the detail. There's lots of challenges. For us, it was uh, all about getting high momentum from the air. So we, we used the Dyson digital motor, which is the only motor which could deliver that high pressure um, that we needed. As it leaves, the air's going at around 400 miles an hour, so it's really, really fast. It took three years, countless prototypes, and one pair of rubber hands to get Dyson Airblade just right. We were finding it very hard to recreate skin, and how would we measure the speed? So we built a, a machine which we cast my hands, and we built the machine which dips your hands in the water and then put them into the machine. We were able to measure the difference in the weight of the hands in order to see how efficiently it was drying. Each of the components were tested and retested to make sure they worked properly and could withstand even the toughest washroom environment. 